It's a really good one. It's a large amount. Oh my gosh, Jeremy Bunnell. <laughs> well, the Tackle Shack in Middlebury had puts on a tournament trail, and Jeremy Bunnell and I are taking our crack at it. Today we're on Clear Lake in northeastern Indiana. Now it's May 22nd, 2021, and these smallmouth, this, this place is known for a smallmouth, although it has a big large mouth too. But we're at the tail end of the spawn, so it's, uh, it's gonna be a kind of a weird deal out here, hard to figure out. That's what I anticipate. Because of the fish being in a little few in the spawn, a lot in the post-spawn, and probably a few in the pre-spawn still. We began our day looking for spawning smallmouth bass, and we were able to catch a few, uh, but in extremely shallow water, which was frankly a little surprising to be in like two foot of water and less but they were up in between the docks and around the boat lifts number one well, we're on the board i would put a tag on him just to, yeah we're, we we better not him. keep him Arr. Yeah. Yep. I see the fish and everything. Not a bad one. That's a little bit better, Jeremy. Not four pounders we want, but that will work. Look where it hooked. Perfect. 418 tungsten drop shot. Of one of these. Now I'm all tangled. Look, he can catch himself. There you go. This one doesn't feel too bad at all. Where yeah. Oh, cow, you need. Can you come here? He's wrapped around that last pole. There we go. Uh, I think I might have. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would check your line when you get done. Oh there. yeah, and I would back off. There's, a, I've got, I've got bit every time I threw up there. I mean, I'm throwing up against the seawall. Big one here or what? I see. Good call. I'm gonna have to give me, give me a couple seconds here. Yeah, I man. That line's fucked. Not big stuff, but Jeremy, I'm gonna need another here. Okay, okay. Do something. Yep. Oh, God. Gosh. Now he's tangled up, or he's tangled or wrapped around him somewhere. Yeah. Up here in the docks. Every one of those fish were caught with a drop shot. I use a 418 fishing tungsten hook, or excuse me, tungsten weight. I use a size one owner mosquito hook, eight pound braid, I'm sorry, eight pound fluorocarbon as a leader to 10 pound braid. 
Oh, of course I'm using a Yoder's custom rod, but I like a medium heavy seven foot rod for this application. For now, you are the man. Are you having a blast with small mountain bass? <laughs> having a blast with small bass? Let's see here in a second. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sure, that's what you call us having a blast with a small mouth bass. <laughs> Look like he's supposed to be. It's an upgrade. Yeah, I'll see ya. Come here, small mouth. Oh, now, Jeremy. Yeah, nut the fish and a buoy. Not a bad fish, though, sir. Thank you, help. I'm gonna win. All the tackle we use today is in the description below. Also, in the description below are some promo codes to save you some money. Rather, we're talking about tunks and weights with 418 fishing, lead heads from bite and tackle, or mega work heel guards, something to protect your boat. I'm gonna land back there. I'm gonna go. Who's gonna see my bait? Now, my next one. I think he did eat it. But gosh darn it, he's not there. It's a big one. But no, it swam off and just got bit. Yeah, we, we might want to just, what do you think, man? Uh, he's not going to help. No. But it is a blast with small up there. Fan casting a tube out here. Stung by a bee. You did? No, not to oh. be as bee as. That would be. There we are. I think that might help, buddy. I think that's a helper. I think maybe. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna check it out. Definitely need this guy. Yes. <sighs> Definitely need Saw this smallmouth on the bed, but he would not stay put until we backed up about 20, well, what you say, 30 feet away. We yep. could barely see him. And then on the first cast after that, he ate. That's how it is with bed fishing. A lot of times it's boat positioning, it's stealth, it's presentation. It's Ooh, that was a bed too, isn't it? Got him off that bed. Gosh darn. Yes, sir. He might. Yes. He might. He might. You got a better one? I don't know. Let's yeah, call it double. Know. We'll say I had to switch up to a heavier weight because the wind was making it difficult to get that bait down to that fish right away. So I went with the heavier weight. And, and that was definitely, that definitely helped. The big moment for us was really all on Jeremy. We spotted a big large mouth up in about a foot of water and it was over a sand flat, just all by itself. And Jeremy threw a eel, uh, Jeremy made a long cast with a Loch Ness Lewis Nessie. That's a swim bait. You'll see a link to that below too. It's a really good one. It's a large mouth. Oh my gosh, Jeremy Bunnell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just changed. 
What is it again? 313, three pounds, 13 ounces. So I'm gonna call it 314. And all it was up here on a sand flat, really sand flat. I mean, the fish was in foot of water. We saw him. Jeremy cast, I don't know, 20 feet behind it. Slow rolled that thing, that fish, that large one turned around and phew, took a beeline for it and just slaughtered his bait. Ooh, having a blast with largemouth bass? Look at it, wait, look at this call. Oh, we'll get rid of him, because we just caught him. And that ended up being our big fish, weighing 4.15 pounds. We only got one thing left to do, and that's to go away. Looking good here, aren't I? You know, overall, we probably caught 25 keepers, probably five limits keepers, weighed 15.28 pounds. I frankly have no idea if that's even got us into money. So we're uh, tax check doing an outstanding job. We're weighing in at the ramp. We're coming to the public beach to, to see uh, where everyone finished up at. So uh, without further ado, go ahead, Ryan. Uh, big bass went to team Roger Huffman, Troy Worsler, 4.53 pounds. Fourth place, fourth place, Mark Coney, Rich Fletcher, with a weight of 14.27. Third place, hey, we we didn't Mike kiss Henderson our and Mike Weaver <laughs> with 14.86 pounds. Thank you. Second place, Andrew Buss and Jeremy Bunnell, 15.2 pounds. And the winner today, $1,300. Alvin Hanshu, Shannon Combs, 15.42.